Okay, today we're going to talk about graphing equations that um, sort of turn out either as a horizontal or a vertical line. Um, and so our learning objective is how do we graph equations that are of the form y is equal to a constant or x is equal to a constant. Okay, um, so if we look at the equation y is equal to 2, we can ask ourselves, is this a linear equation in standard form? Remember, that means that you have the equation in a form ax plus by equals c. Okay, so it's of the form where um, a and b, oh sorry, yeah, a and, a and b can't both be 0 at the same time. So can I force this equation to be in this form? And the answer is actually yes, you can, because I can put 0x plus 1y is equal to 2. That's another way of writing y is equal to 2, because 0x would be um, would be 0, 1 times y is y, so this is equivalent to y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2, I mean, we don't really want to write it in this way, but we can consider this a linear equation in standard form. Um, and then we ask ourselves, where are some coordinate pairs that are solutions to this equation? Well, if I look at this equation right here, and I try to figure out what some solutions are. Well, let's think about some things that we could put in for uh, for x. So let's just make a quick table here. Let's say x were 0. Well, you know, 0 times 0 plus 1 times y equals 2. We just would be left with 1 times y equals 2. So y would have to be 2. Okay, so that's an ordered pair. So 0, 2 is an ordered pair. Okay, let's try another number. Let's say that, let's let x be 1. Okay, so I'd have 1 times, or 0 times 1 plus 1 times y equals 2. Again, I'd have 0 plus 1y equals 2. 1y equals 2, so y must be 2. So y is also 2 there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, plot that point there. Okay, so 1, 2 would be right here. Okay, let's try to make x3. So I'd have 0 times 3 plus 1y equals 2. Again, that goes away. I'd have 1y equals 2. y is also equal to 2. So you can see a real pattern emerging here where um, anytime I put something in for x, it doesn't matter what I substitute in for x into this equation because every time I multiply it by 0, it just gets 0. I'm left always with 1y is equal to 2, which lets me 1 times y is y. So whatever I put in for x, y is always 2. So some more points would be 4, 2, 5, 2, negative 1, 2, right? And you can see if you start putting these points all together and you draw a line, you're going to be left with a horizontal line. Okay, and this is the line y is equal to 2. Now some characteristics of this line are that they're always, so it's a, it's a straight horizontal line. It's perpendicular to the y-axis. Okay, it is parallel to the x-axis. And it's always two spaces above the x-axis. Okay, these are all. This is always two spaces because the these points, all these points, have the same y-coordinate. Even though all their x-coordinates are different, this they all have the same y-coordinate, which is two. Okay. And my question is, is this relation a function? Remember, we could tell um, by the graph if a relation was a function if it passed the vertical line test. So if I draw a vertical line, and I ask myself, well, how many times does this line cross the x-axis? And right here, or the sorry, how many line, how many times does the red line cross the blue line? And the answer is, it only crosses it once. Whatever vertical line I draw, it only intersects it once. So the answer to this question is yes, it is a function because it passes the vertical line test. Okay, look at let's look at this. Um, equation y is equal to negative 3. Okay, if y is equal to negative 3, um, so, <clears throat> whoops, y is equal to negative 3, so let's just think about some x and y pairs that would work here. Remember, y is equal to negative 3 is the same thing as 0 times x plus 1 times y is equal to negative 3. And so you're going to have the same situation as you had before, where every time you substitute a number in for x, you're going to get back the same. The, that component of the equation will always be 0. Okay, That term in the equation will always be 0. So you're just going to be left with y is equal to negative 3. 
Okay, if x is 2, y is also negative 3. If x is 0, y is negative 3. If x is negative 1, y is negative 3. So we start thinking about these coordinate pairs, and if I graph these coordinate pairs on the the graph here, something you're going to see again that it creates a horizontal line. So uh, 1, negative 3 is here, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 3, 4, negative 3, and 0, negative 3 is there. So we have this horizontal line here. So in other words, when you have an equation that says y is equal to some constant c, what that's going to do, that's going to create a horizontal line. Now, we, we like to think of it as making a vertical line because it's a y equation involving y and not x. But if you think about it, it makes more sense for it to be a horizontal line because when I say, when I look at the equation, in this equation in particular, y is equal to negative 3, it's saying um, that every y coordinate on this line is 3 below the x-axis, right? It has a vertical position of negative 3. So every x coordinate here, 2, negative 3, no, sorry, every y coordinate here has negative 3 as its y coordinate, right? So this line is 3 units below, it's parallel to the x axis and 3 units below. So if it asks to describe, it's parallel to the x axis and 3 units below it, okay? Now, the next equation is an x is equal to form. And again, is it an equation in standard form? Yeah, because you can write it as 1x plus uh, 0y is equal to 5. Remember, standard form was like this, where you can't have both a and b uh, a and b, oops, sorry, a and b can't both be equal to 0 at once. but you can have them equal to 0, 1 at a time. Right, so in this situation, b is equal to 0, but not a. In the last situation, a was equal to 0, but not b. Okay, so some coordinates that work here. So again, if I made a table, I could see that it doesn't really matter what I put in for uh, y. So let's pick some number for x. If uh, well, Actually, we'd have to pick some number for, for y. So if I say, okay, uh, here's my x and y. If it, 1 is y, I'd have 1 times, uh, sorry, 0 times 1 plus 1x one is equal to 5. That gets 0, so if 1x is equal to 5, well, that's just x is equal to 5. Okay, so we have 5 here. If I put 2 in for y, I'm still going to get 5 for x. Okay, so some elements of the solution sets are those coordinate pairs that we just wrote down here. Uh, 5, 1, so that's 5, 1 right here. Uh, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, uh, 5, 0, 5, negative 1. So if I connect all these points right here, what you'll see is that what they all have in common is that they have um, 5 as their x-coordinate. Their y-coordinate certainly changes, but their x-coordinate remains at 5. So a way to describe this line is it's a vertical line. So this line is a vertical line. It's perpendicular to the x-axis. Oops, it's a vertical line perpendicular to the x-axis and five spaces to the right of the y-axis. So this is always five spaces away, which is indicated by having all of these fives in the x-coordinate here. Okay, so uh, what we learned so far is that uh, equations that are of the form y is equal to some constant c um, make them horizontal lines and that the equations x is equal to some constant c those are vertical lines because this is saying the x-coordinate stays the same in a vertical line the x-coordinate remains the same this is saying that the y-coordinate remains the same so that would make make the line have the same distance away from the x-axis, which would make it a horizontal line. Okay, so can we think about what this equation would look like without finding the coordinate pairs? 
Now, uh, we saw that x is equal to a constant makes a vertical line, so we know it's vertical. And the distance that is maintained is that it's always, this line is always, uh, has a horizontal distance of negative 1 from the origin. So if we look at, okay, that this point has a distance negative 1, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So the line x is equal to negative 1 is right here. x is equal to negative 1. By the way, it's really important for you to label all the lines that you draw, especially on the integrated algebra regions. You do not get full credit if you don't label the lines that you draw. So actually, I should have been labeling the lines as I went here. x is equal to 5, and so on. Okay, x is equal to negative 1. Um, now, the question is, is this relation a function? Okay, we went over this before when we talked about functions. Um, the answer is no, it's not a function. Okay, because if I, if I draw the, like a vertical line, you know, the vertical lines over here are okay. They don't even intersect the function. But as soon as you draw a vertical line, uh, on top of the function, it intersects it at all these different locations. So this is absolutely not a function. Okay. Okay, there's just two more graphs here. Consider the equation x is equal to zero. Describe what the graph of this equation would look like. So again, x is equal to a constant means that it's a vertical line. And the thing about the, the vertical line is that um, it has a distance of zero away from the origin. All the x coordinates have a distance of zero away. So we have like zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four. So let's start graphing them. Zero, one's here, zero, two's here, zero, three, zero, four, zero, zero, okay, and so on. So when I draw this vertical line, this is the equation. This is the line x is equal to zero. Another name for this equation is the x. Another name for the um, the graph of the equation x is equal to zero is called the y-axis. And again, this relation is not a function because it's a vertical line. Um, let's look at the equation y is equal to zero. So this equation would have different x-coordinates, but the y-coordinates would always be zero. Okay, and we found that, we said that the when it's x is equal to a constant, this is a horizontal line. Um, so we have 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. So it turns out that this line right here is the x-axis. So another way to describe the x-axis is to describe it with the equation y is equal to 0. And this line ends up is a function because it passes the vertical line test. Okay, so the things that you learned today were you learned how to um, equations of this form, you were able to graph them, equations of uh, oops, I meant to put that c as constant. Okay, y is equal to a constant, ends up being some sort of horizontal line. Um, x is equal to a constant, ends up being a vertical line somewhere in the xy plane. And you also learn that these vertical lines, you re reviewed again, these are not functions. Okay, whereas the horizontal line are functions because they, they pass the vertical line test. All right, and that's the end of the lesson.